joke. <laughs> Thanks. Hey guys, I'm Cami Crawford, and this is Monochromatic Makeup Like This. So last week you guys saw me with Nikki, and I picked this lipstick. This is my favorite one from the new Shine Compulsion collection, Chocolate Lust. So today what I wanna do is kind of create a monochromatic eye look to go along with the lipstick. Maybelline has come out with four new City Mini palettes. This is the High Rise Sunset palette, and as you can see, it has all those gorgeous neutrals. So I'm gonna go in with this camel brown color, and I'm gonna use a flat eyeshadow brush to apply that. Well, first and foremost, I'm just going to use this on my lid. So I'm gonna apply that. You just wanna kinda keep this centered right on the lid. Now I'm gonna go in with the brand spanking new Brooklyn Nudes palette, and I'm gonna use kind of like a burgundy brown. I'm gonna use this crease brush, do a nice little half circle motions. I can already see this coming together, and I'm so excited about it. And don't worry about getting it too, too perfect. I always like to do my crease, then when I go and do my brow bone color, I go and redefine my crease again. Now for my Brow bone color, what do we want to do? I feel like I want to dip and dab. Is that the dab? So I'm gonna take this, it's like a peachy beige color from the High Rise Sunset palette, and also this color from the Brooklyn Nudes palette. This one is more like a basic beige. And we're gonna dip into both of those and applying that directly to the brow bone. I'm just going to go back and just blend it out. No eye is complete without brows. So now I'm going in with Maybelline's Brow Precise Pencil. This is the color Deep Brown, and I'm gonna use the spoolie side first. The amazing thing about this pencil, if you could not find your shade before, Maybelline is coming out with a whole new range of shades in the Brow Precise Pencil, so you are in luck, honey. So going in with the actual pencil, I'm gonna start at the ends and then kind of make my way in. And I do very like sparse, short, motions, and then I kind of create a little bit more definition. What I usually like to do when I do my brows is spoolie them as I'm actually filling them in. And then you don't have to worry about like being too perfect and trying to put on too much product. And I do like to brush my brows up because big brows are in. The very, very tip of my brow, I like to do an upward flick <laughs> so now I'm gonna use the Great Lash Clear Mascara to actually set my brows into place. This is a great hack if you don't have brow gel. So starting at the front, brushing up, getting that nice precise ending. Same thing with the other side. And if it's not completely perfect, then you can take your spoolie, move back in while it's still wet and get the actual precision that you want. What I like to do is line my lower lids with eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go back in with that High Rise Sunset palette and I'm gonna use this color on my lower lash line. And I'm gonna use this little teeny tiny precise brush. Now I'm gonna go in with the Brooklyn Nudes palette and use this darker chocolate brown color right here in the corner on the outer parts of my lower lash line and blend that upwards into that lid color. Now to top it all off, I'm gonna use the Falsies Mascara, even though it's not brown. It's not technically monochromatic, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna apply that from the base of my lashes to the tips. Same thing on the other side and just in a zigzag formation, gonna do the lower. And boom. Okay guys, I hope you love this monochromatic look and I can't wait for you guys to try these new City Mini palettes and the Shine Compulsion lipstick. It's absolutely amazing. You guys are gonna love it. And make sure you check out more episodes of Makeup Like This on Maybelline's channel. Subscribe right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.